Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to share this video with you of how I do my hair every single day. There's two steps to it. The first, I use a flat iron and that's pretty much what I do for every single day and the toast and you know when I don't have anything major going on. But then I also use rollers for when I want extra bounce, extra hold, and I'm just feeling super extra. So I will show you everything that I do, all of the amazing products that I use, and per usual, you can click to buy anything that you like in the description. If you follow me and you follow the toast, you know that I pretty much wear my hair the same every single day unless it's in an updo, which is a tutorial that is coming soon. I'm going to show you all the steps that it takes to do my hair, how I use my rollers, even though I'm definitely not an expert in anything, I just do the best that I can and what works for me. So without further ado, here we go. So this is what my hair looks like right now. This is what my hair usually looks like. This is not how my hair dries, just letting you know. This is what my hair looks like. My hair is usually always flat ironed and then I go into my process, but then after I sleep on it, it gets a little like rustled. So I'm gonna brush it through. My hair dries pretty wavy and then I just blow dry it with a regular blow dryer and I just get let it get like really big and frizzy and I'm not good at blow drying my hair. I just do it to make it dry, not to make it styled. And then I use a flat iron, which I feel like a shame to say because I feel like there's such a stigma around flat irons, but you know what, like it's who I am, it's what I do, and this is what I do. I section off my hair like this, and I go piece by piece. I even, when my hair's already straight, I even go over with a flat iron because I don't like my hair stick straight. I like that flip at the end. So, oh, this is gonna be hard to show you how I do it. Hold on, maybe I'll show you better on the other side. So I kind of twirl my, you see that? I twirl my flat iron towards me. I like my hair to bend inwards, yeah, like that. So, and then I fold it up just to bend each hair towards me, which is how I like it. It's very like senatorial, very Brie Van de Camp. I just do each piece like that. So I go through section by section, and I just turn each piece. In the back it's a little harder, but we do the best we can with the arm lengths that we have. So something about me, you're probably like, you started your tutorial, like your hair is already done. It's not done. To me, what my hair was like before, this is not done. It's so like stringy and has no body and I would never you know do the toast or something like that with it that way so I keep going section by section and I only really wash my hair about two or three times a week so my hair is pretty much always in that state that I showed you usually after I wake up in the morning it's like the pieces here are more fucked up but I just go over them with an iron which is like probably so terrible. I told you I'm not an expert, like, but irons are just easier than blow dryers. And yes, it looks like I got electrocuted right now, but we'll take care of that in a second. So you just keep going over each piece. If you need to straighten your hair, you straighten it and then flip it at the end. I never, ever, ever, like, even if I'm not doing this Jackie O 60s hair, which is what I'm always doing, but say I wasn't, I still would not iron my ends straight. I would just leave them out and then when I go through with a curling wand, then I also leave them out. I just never want stick straight ends or super curled ends. I just kind of leave them, which is actually probably better for your ends because then they don't get like burnt and split. This, what I do in my hair is not good for my ends, but because I have this like shorter haircut, I cut my hair pretty often, more often than I used to when my hair was long. So I feel like they're constantly being refreshed. But yeah, if I don't get my hair cut for like six months, my ends just look like the end of a broom. So yeah, I hope you're able to see how I flip the iron to get that bounce. And also, I'm sure you could do it the other way to get it going out. That's not my vibe, but I've been seeing a couple people on Instagram doing it like that. So like, I might try it once, but I think right now my hair is too long for that. So you'll see how it's all kind of like has that nice bend to it, which I prefer than opposed to like stick straight. I don't know, just me. Typically I would never make this video, but because so many people ask me, I'm doing it, but I'm sure there's like so many people making fun of me, like, you use a flat iron? <laughs> yeah, I use a flat iron. 
Also, I will link this flat iron because I'm obsessed with it. And every time it like runs out of life, like, it is the Baby Bliss Pro Nano Nano <laughs> Nano Titanium. Okay, so I can keep on going over all the sections. And at the top, I like a little bit more volume. Now what I'll do is I'll stop putting it up and I just sort of section it off and go through bit by bit and twist. And now this is where I kind of choose where I want my part to be. I typically go for a side part. Actually, that looks pretty good right now, but that doesn't look so good. So, you know, I'm gonna take my comb, obsessed with the comb. Everyone should own a comb or two, like one for their purse. I use it for every style. I use it when I wear my hair down. I use it when I wear my hair up. That is a nice ass part. And now I'm gonna go along these lines and just get the ends nice and dented. That's what it is really, a dent. Okay, so now this is how I typically wear my hair for the toast, usually for every day, when I'm like not doing anything too crazy. I don't need like an epic blowout. So from here, I'll spray the top because I, like I said, I look like I got electrocuted. I'll go in, maybe spray a little. I like a lot of product in my hair because like the more shit, the more it stays. Whereas like I feel like on my first day of hair, it's so soft, there's not enough product and it like looks so limp. This is the R Co Outer Space Flexible Hairspray, which I love and it smells so good. And that's really what I go off of for products. Like, I feel like all hairsprays are pretty much the same, but I like how certain ones smell, so it makes my hair smell good and that makes me smell good. And then I also have this Beach Club IGK Voluminizing Texture Spray, which is really good and really thick. And you know what? I'm not gonna put it in yet because, okay, so this is like my everyday hair pretty much. And then from here you can like, I don't have a bobby pin, but sometimes I pin it like that, or pin it like that, pin it like that. So much you can do, so much versatility, and it doesn't look like too done. However, there are some times when I want my hair to look too done, and that is when I use my rollers, like a woman from the 50s. These are not even heated rollers. They're like the rollers that get stuck to everything. I have linked them below if this tutorial entices you to get some they really make a huge difference as you will see so like right now my hair looks like pretty bouncy but you know not like I got it done or anything so the rollers really make a huge difference I'm gonna show you how I put mine in I am NOT an expert whatsoever I do the best that I can every time is different I hope that this time you know like things go well but yeah so I use mostly the biggest ones the big pink ones. These are by Conair, I believe, and they do the job. And I've heard that heated rollers are so much better, but because I'm not so great about putting them in, I'm worried I'm gonna burn myself. So I stick with these. You need duckbill aluminum clips, which are also just great for styling your hair in general. Like sometimes, sorry if that's making a lot of noise. Sometimes you do your hair and then you need to do your makeup. So like these are also great just for like pinning your hair back, like so. But then it's also like, so you do it like that so you could do your makeup and I, I just love these but then I do it like this and then I want my hair to look like this for when I go out and I obviously can't wear these out but no bobby pins are as strong so then I just want something that I can't have and that sucks too okay but those are amazing for the rollers and this is how it goes so first this is usually the most important piece remember when we used to wear our hair like this in middle school oh my god I'm dying this really takes me back it's like you think you've changed so much, but when I do my hair like this, I look the exact same as I did in middle school, like a big nerd. Okay, take your big roller. Ooh, I need to back it up. You're gonna roll like this. For this piece, I always need so many clips because it always moves around. So I clip one like there, there, parsed. Clip one up there. I'm gonna move back so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Sorry for my not decorated apartment. You guys know I'm in the process of moving been a struggle but now we're up to the part where we can do like artwork okay then I'm gonna take a big piece out to the side I'm gonna run it down and roll it up okay now I'm gonna do the part and then just clip it in like that now I'm gonna do the part where I fast forward and start moving quickly because actually I'll do one more slow 
but I just learned how to use fast forward on iMovie, so we are balling. That one's not great, but it should do the trick. Actually, no, don't put the clip like that, because then you'll make a crease. Put it underneath. Oh yeah, and you know what? I'm just gonna clip that up so that it looks nice for this tutorial. See, isn't that looking good? Okay, now we're gonna start doing fast forward. Bye. These green ones are a little smaller for these small pieces. Also, I ran out of big pink ones. So, this is pretty much it. Now, what I'll do usually is I will do this, and now I'll spray it with hairspray so that they sit nicely. This is gonna leave a little bit of a ridge, so I'm gonna take that out. And this one will probably leave a ridge, so I'll probably have to go over it with my flat iron, but if I take it out, then this falls over and they don't stay. So now, usually, after I spray it, and it doesn't have to look perfect, honestly. This looks decent. After I spray it, I will do my makeup, and I usually leave these in until it's time to do my bronzer, because it kind of gets in the way of like up here. So I leave them in for a good 20, 30 minutes, but sometimes I leave them in for as little as like 10 minutes, and I really think that it makes a difference, and it just makes everything a little bit bouncier, as you'll see. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna leave them in for like, let's do 15 minutes so I can show you how short it can be and how doing it for a short amount of time can really make a difference, but also you need to leave them in for long enough that it can take shape. So definitely spray the shit out of it. Go do your makeup, go do something else. Personally, I think I'm gonna go answer some emails and I will see you guys back here in 15 minutes. Okay, I'm back. I actually took a little bit longer than 15 minutes, more like 25 minutes because I started editing the video and then I couldn't stop. But anyways, it's been about 25 minutes now. I'm going to take down my rollers in the order that I put them up. Ow, try not to pull all your hair out. OMG, OMG. Don't do this this way, kids. I have to, okay, I need to pay more attention because it's fucking hurting me. These duck aluminums are silent killers. You see already how it's like so fucking bouncy. Like, it's like its own little bouncy house. Bounce. Bounce. And this top one, what's cool about the top one is that my part is gonna stay where it was even though I put two sides together, which I find really cool. Like, physics are just insane. And look at that, my friends. Such bounce. Okay, so now I have to go through and see if any of the duck bills left any ridges because I'm like, that's where my amateurness starts to show. So in the back, it feels pretty smooth. Up here, it looks pretty good. Honestly, this is so much bounce that it feels like I don't even need hairspray, but everyone, everyone needs hairspray. So I'm gonna go on the top again. So like, I don't, I get such bad like that. What is those? Maybe it's like broken hairs from using a flat iron. They really fucking piss me off. Like you guys can't really see them right now, but like when I go to do a selfie, they're just everywhere. And it looks like I got up in the middle of the electric chair. Like the verdict changed in the middle of the electrocution. Okay, that's not funny. Then I will use my texturizing sprays. Told you about this one, IGK, obsessed with it. Really fucking thick if you're into that sort of thing. This Bumble and Bumble dry spun finish is probably my ideal thickening spray because it's not too thick, but this is what I'll do with my thickening spray even if I'm not using my rollers and I'm just using my flat iron. I open, I like pull and I do it in there. I also do this with dry shampoo if my hair is dirty. So like I pull up, spray it in my hairline and then I work it in. I mean there's really no wrong way to apply it but this shit's expensive so you wanna make sure each spray counts. This side to me is more important to spray because this is my flatter side because this one already has volume with my part. So I got it. Pick this side up. 
Also, when I was editing my video, I realized my part looked a bit before I parted it and I should have stuck with it. But I don't know, there's something really scary about a middle part. Okay, you guys, this is it. I'm gonna pick up my camera so I can show you the details. I don't know if it showed you anything. But yeah, I hope you've learned something. I am going to link all of the products that I used in case you're interested in buying them. I hope this has convinced you that rollers really are effective. Like, now I need to go somewhere. I'm going to dinner tonight, but that's like in five hours. And so I'm gonna sit here with perfect hair. And then it won't fall because I used rollers. Anyways, please subscribe, comment below with any other tutorials you want me to do, your thoughts on this tutorial. If you're gonna go out and buy rollers, let me know. Roller power, you guys. We are rolling face, sort of. Anyways, love you all so much. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something. Even if you didn't, hope you had a good time. Bye. Sorry, one last step before we tune out is turn your iron off. Oh my God, the pits I could avoid if I just turn my iron off and watch myself do it. Like every time I go to dinner, I'm just not there physically at dinner because I'm just like, did I turn my iron off? Did I not? Anyways, I need to put something on my vanity that says turn your iron off. So just want to remind you guys, turn your irons off. Not even because they're that dangerous, but I think they are. I don't know. Has an iron ever burned down a building? I'm not sure I should look it up, but more so so that you don't have a pit that ruins your night even though you look amazing. Bye.